Moose have been absent from the Highlands for over 2,000 years. But these two appear to fit right back in. Every animal plays a part, and of course, it's just like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Having two elk back, it's just a, 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 another piece back in a jigsaw. For the time being, they're in an enclosure, but eventually they'll have the run of the reserve. It's taken four years and millions of pounds just to get boar and moose back onto his land. Many have criticized Paul's approach, but he's the only person bold enough to take on the problems, the doubters, and the red tape. And despite all the odds, he remains determined to create the first wilderness reserve in Britain. Maybe it takes a maverick to move the boundaries and wake people up to the urgency and importance of rewilding. I believe we should encourage the likes of Paul Lister. I believe what he's trying to do is ambitious. I don't know whether it will succeed, but I think it actually contributes substantially to the debate. So if people are trying to rewild areas within an enclosed area, and that is studied, and we're collecting scientific information about the way the ecosystem changes, then I think that's a very valuable contribution to this debate about the use of our countryside and about ways in which we can help conserve some of these species that may otherwise be lost. However, there are many people who still think Paul is misguided. Paul has seen what's happened in Africa. He's thought this could happen in Scotland. I would say it can't. Frankly, although I fully understand the view that says this simply can't happen, it's too big an ask, I don't believe it. There's always going to be people out there that go, this isn't going to work, here's a crackpot, this, that and the other. But as long as I can get the majority, and as long as the majority of people can see what we're trying to achieve here, then it will happen. Totally it will happen. <laughs>